Hey guys, Will here coming back to you with another update on all things finance. Um, again, the rundown, home loan news, property market update, and um, some comments on the border economy. So we will jump into it. So first home loan news I've got is lender provides same rates for borrowers with owner occupied and investment debt. Um, so that's quite a number of borrowers and, and if, if you're one of those, um, you probably should know by now that investment lending uh, incurs a higher interest rate than owner occupied lending. So owner occupied is your own home. Um, so there are lenders out there um, offering that discount. So if you've got large amounts of investment debt, that may be something to look into. Second off the rank, uh, fixed rate increases. So I've uh, observed the last probably two or three weeks, a couple of the fixed rates have increased. Um, that's in relation to uh, the 10 year bond price um, increasing in fears of inflation. To that, I would say um, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Um, if you look at the last kind of 20 odd years, the, the overall trend is down. Um, so in, until I see kind of a reversal of that trend, um, I wouldn't make too much of it just yet. I would just keep an eye on it. Uh, the, other, the other bit of home loan stuff I wanted to touch on was um, just as mortgage brokers uh, article here, which is basically commenting on the amount of complaints we get through AFCA. So AFCA is basically the Ombudsman, the Australian Financial Complaints Authority. Um, and I just wanted to outline this because a lot of people don't understand that um, basically big corporations are dominating the way we're governed. Um, and this is an example. So right now at the moment, I commented on last week, the responsible lending laws are getting wound back. Uh, it's going through parliament as we speak. Uh, but at the same time, from the Royal Commission, mortgage brokers have more regulation uh, in the form of best interest duty. Um, yeah, I just wanted to outline that because it's actually getting far harder for mortgage brokers, even though under 1% of all the home loan complaints are actually about mortgage brokers, they're actually about lenders. Um, and now we're in an environment where um, the banks are going to, they're going to, Get in, they're going to get a lending environment that was the same as what we had 10 years ago. So, um, yeah, there's a bit of an irony there. And <clears throat> it kind of pays to understand these things because if it's easy for the banks to lend money in the future, um, it probably gives you a bit of a, a bit of a hint about what's going to happen with the property market. Um, so that's all for home loan news, property news, property market news. Still the same, um, low supply, uh, which has been really the story for probably probably six months now. Um, more auctions I've noticed out here on the peninsula. Um, everything's going to auction. That's because there's low supply and agents know they can, they can push market prices up. I have noticed added to that probably, probably a little bit less demand um, on the buy side. Uh, but that's probably to be expected because kind of the last six months we were coming out of lockdown. So um, we had some pent up demand there. Uh, the other market news is Bank of Mum and Dad. So it becomes top 10 mortgage lender. So that's pretty easy to figure out what that means. Uh, basically, Mum and Dad are giving the kids loans or they're acting as guarantor um, for their first home loan. So uh, it, to me, it kind of says, and, I, and I've noticed this through through just, just the business that I'm doing, it kind of says, it kind of tells me, well, is there an actual limit? Um, because that's an argument, right, with the, with the property prices or how high can prices go? But we keep finding ways of being able to borrow the money to buy these houses. Um, and that's been my argument for a long time. What if um, the bank, you know, the Reserve Bank drops their rates to negative and 
money is basically free to borrow like how it is in uh, Europe. What happens to property prices? So that's been my argument for quite a while. Um, and this probably shows, um, probably supports that a little bit. On to broader economy. So um, last time I commented on the broader economy being weak, I also, I think I commented on CPI inflation versus asset inflation. So I just want to touch again, because that's really important for people to understand. Um, because CPI inflation is basically the cost of stuff. Um, and if the cost of stuff goes up, it basically means our wages are going up. The thing with CPI inflation is our wages haven't been going up for, for the best part of a decade. Um, despite um, our government and central bank trying to push that. Instead, what they've done is push asset prices higher, which is basically me means people who are wealthy are getting more wealthier. Um, and if you're on the bottom and you don't own any property or, or assets, um, it's just harder for you to, 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 to level up and, and, and actually buy, buy your first home. Um, so that's a really important thing I think people need to understand and in the coming decade I believe there will be um, a lot more money required to be printed um, and we may get some CPI inflation but um, I think uh, which is my opinion not financial advice um, I think we're going to get um, increased asset inflation so house prices are going to go up um, prices of everything is going to go up um, so yeah, there's a, there's an article here from the Guardian saying inflation will reappear, but that shouldn't mean the end of stimulus. Um, it kind of shows you that these guys don't actually know what's happening because stimulus is basically money printing and the only way you're going to get inflation is through printing money. So, um, the kind of backward common sense is that, all right, we're going to get inflation, but they're going to keep printing money. So we're going to get more inflation. So basically just means what I just said, which is house prices are going to go up. Um, I think all asset prices are going to go up. Gold, crypto, um, bonds, property, um, everything. It's all going to go up. And rounding out, um, oh, I just wanted to, I just heard a comment from, from a um, fellow um professional in the finance industry and um he's he kind of made this comment which is which is again it's kind of a miss um it's, it's an assumption that's not really true which is they'll make home loans harder to get if house prices are too high um and that's one i hear a lot but i mean if, if that was true then at some time in the last 15 years 20 years home loans would be a lot harder to get. Um, and they're obviously not that hard because house prices are still going up. So I did link an article in here. Um, let's have a geezer. Oh yeah, this is just the, um, the argument between our regulators. And I guess the, the thing you need to understand here is, is that our regulators don't care about property prices. They care about keeping a stable banking system. And the reason they care about that is because in the recession we had to have when Westpac and ANZ nearly went bankrupt, um, Keating brought in the four pillars policy at the time, which was a smart idea. Um, and basically um, these regulators were um, given, given the target of keeping a, a stable banking system uh, and that was it. Um, unfortunately, stable banking system has met house prices um, continually going up um, and until they change that, I think that's what we're going to keep on getting. Um, that's it for uh, this update. Um, if you've got any home loan questions or um, anything you need, you've got my details. Cheers.